even though they won that game, they've picked it apart. They know exactly what it looks like. They know exactly how it needs to be played. They, they know- Very with... patient from Maus. They're gonna throw a deep elevator smoke and they're gonna use one of their nades over towards headshot. And that is gonna dink down rain quite a bit. The second comes floating in. Sertion opens up with the first frag in the series. However, a quick response, but now as a smoke fade, frozen enables himself. That is immaculate. And with sheer majesty Round so far, with only eight bullets fired, three scalps, okay. seeing if they can find someone overextending, but they equally don't want to overextend themselves. Zersh needs to be very careful because he's fighting two angles at once and it's very scrappy, but Brokey will yeah, save They've kind of read into this. There's close rotations arriving onto the scene here. Yimpa, another opportunity. He does so much damage that Shui's Molly effective here. Brokey in the back of the site will get taken care of by a quick kill from Frozen, but Kerrigan still stands alongside Rain here. It's just Kerrigan though on the site here from back of Generator, gonna knock down another here. Frozen left into a clutch, the right man for the job here, looking to fight towards the back of Generator. Ramp here, Rain gonna be met with a very good flash right now. He has to retreat, great injury Ooh. from Zershin here. The op coverage from Brokey just not being able to come through. He was also flashed off the line and Zershin is chasing down these kills. A multi here to injury up for Zershin. And this is on a round where they didn't have much tool. Quick rotation down in towards the B site, surely from Mouse. Surely. Yeah, yeah, the bomb is be. making its way out. Yes, but still, two kills come back from Kerrigan. Now it is up to him. Does allow good space for FaZe to work into this round. Three versus three. Kerrigan, he's already got two on the dollar, but unfortunately, timing goes against him. And Yimfap, even though if he just gets gold. And right now, Zershin Another already one. causing so much trouble. There is a good trade this time, so it does sharp as Maus will be looking to execute onto this said bomb side. Shui in the fire and the flame. He's gonna molly out Rain's position. He's gonna be forced to dance here and quickly eliminated by Frozen's rifle there. De play in the post from this point forward. I mean, they might have saved no kits, but they'll be swinging for it. Now that will give them the energy and the life to go for this audition. There's no way they can clear this. And especially going back to that point about no kits, Oof. bomb is half ticked. They have to get a move on. And now Rops in a fairly unwinnable one versus two. Setup has been acquired. Rops is able to get the... This is where you want to stabilize just a little bit though. You, this time around, they have a lot more tools. There's all the utility. There's no question about that. You want to start getting some success here. Shui going to get chased, but Yimmy has his coverage Ooh. right there. Excellent ground being gained, but he can't convert the second spray. Eventually, Twist is going to try going. test once again. So oh, let's... surely not on 4 HP. He's seen Twist playing through the smoke, but Twist, we were hyping up towards you in the last. We were hyping up Zershin towards a ramp. They now have to step up and fill the shoes of their fallen comrades, but Rain, a perfect flashbang in. It's all up to Frozen, a one versus four, and that's a lovely first two frags. Taps the bomb. However, Absolutely. this is a nice boost. Wow. Was on the opportunity. Didn't know there was no one else on the site. Now Brokey able to reinvest his position, but he splits the goalpost on the peak there, not able to find anything. There's always next year. And I, I mean, yeah, that's what you, I thought you meant when you said it's in his blood. You can certainly see it in the server. They're clearing this troops here. There could be some worries, but as they rotate on in, Rain, oh, he's perfectly flashed off the line. He does go down with a kill, but still that space has been established here already. Five. Wow. If he can find one more frag, that's going to be so impactful because you can see that Maus are just waiting. They're seeing what Frozen can hear. He's got a well-placed microphone, very deep. But he's going to be surrounded, encapsulated, and we're speaking of timing. It's pin perfect. He's threaded the needle, and now his teammates can accelerate. Brokey, a one versus four. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Vertigo now with Yimfat, with Frozen playing at peak levels, with Zershin nailing entries, Shui having impact in terms of the calling, with slowing things down and just constantly putting the metal to phase here. We might just see a bit of a quick opening affair. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. Very different what we saw over in Sydney. Can this round produce any success for FaZe to begin to believe in the second half? And it seems like we've already found our answer. Carrigan, 18 HP. They know he's skulking around these smokes and Shui just annihilate. And now they might be tested in the quarterfinals. The team to beat and Maus, they're stepping up to the plate. Now this pistol round, it could end it all. Good flash through middle. Zershin overwhelmed. Shui simultaneously does fall in tandem. This mid hold crushes down, but Yimfat, he's done it on the T side. He'll do it on the CT side. He's now got a whole host awaiting him on the bomb site, which is just left vacant. Let's have an opportunity to strike here. Looking for more. He needs to have some impact here from his teammates coming through as well. Rain though, quickly deals with them. 
They're just going to chase down this player. Now Frozen can strike you, but he has to be aware of the possibilities. Torzi going to find one as well. He's looking for more. Reigns giving him this fight. Frozen not aware of the flink. That's formulating on him, but he spots him out eventually here. This retake is on. Just one more to find. Brokey left. Last man standing. Can they now start their pursuit to success with the rifles? There's a whole mountain to climb. There's a pathway in. The pathway is definitely cobbled. It's definitely going to be difficult to walk along it. However, Carrigan with a double entry. Nicely done right there. Carrigan had a good couple of rounds to start things off to deliver some success here. More work to be done, though. Torzi going to knock a pin down. Brokey is leveled. Job not out of the map. Torzi, more smokes thrown his way, and he will get spammed down just the same here. Zershin. Thing. And he, he kept on doing it, getting very aggressive. Peaks advantage with the AWP. Fair, you know what? I can respect it. But... Thinks that there's an anchor here on the site. No real presence on the site proper, though. They have all of B contained here. Maybe missing a Molotov oh, for back no. of quad, but there's a huge gap in the smoke here. Yemi looks to capitalize. He will. Immediately dispatches here of Kerrigan, and there's no trade from Twist just yet. Finally able to strike here, but chasing down. Yemi looking for the trade here. We'll be able to find it eventually. There's more around that corner, but finally Brokey. Now we put so much reliance on Brokey. He has, he, he probably has to get two here, and that first shot goes awry. Running Ooh. out of bullets, we'll have to reload, but does connect once more. Frozen, so aware, and Brokey a one versus two clutch secures the first. Already down a map. We'll see if they can strike back here. They are on oh, home turf. Aggression. Yeah, there's a lot of aggression. They're going to be trying to wrap around this a bomb site bomb on the back of Carrigan. They're already firing these fries. This is exactly what happened in the in, in the first pistol round. They're just doing a, they're just doing a lot better now. Twist, it's 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 perfect. Such a nice set play on this pistol round, and the cars just all fall in place for them. Will they be able to spot out Zershin? Doesn't really matter. Like, they have the manpower to trade out. Similar with Torzi. Like, they're going to overlook him for one player. But look, the bomb could just go down towards Secret if they really need. Is, is posted over towards Heaven. The outside smokes will come in. So it will give them some safe passageway down. However, you can always sometimes see... Oh, oh my... What? Oh. No. It, oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. I, either way, a fantastic shot. He will fall, but Carrigan... He's pushing the charge, sees the barrel, oh, wow. eliminates Zershim, puts a lot of pressure now towards this lower bomb site. In fact, he has to perform towards Ram. He's done well, but his rotations will be not there to help him. Brokey just picking up the bomb, trying to escape. It's a game of cat and mouse, and Brokey will be able to run away with it. Now, look at Carrigan. He's been tormenting them this whole round. Just everywhere around the map. He's gonna understand where Yimfat is. He's gonna come over the sound cues he's just garnered. They don't know where Shui is, but Yimfat, yes. yeah, like they know exactly where he is. But he is aware of Carrigan. Unfortunately, oh, Carrigan just gets That is a brilliant round called out there by FaZe. I love that. They're gonna continue to send aggression in here. Emmy looking for a peek. Rops is gonna give him one. Oh, he turned his attention just in time. They get the kill, they're gonna bail on out here. They've set a disruption on in. But Twist will I think he's trying to make his way down the vents. Maybe missed his opportunity, but we'll get it on the second try. Two players have snuck their way down. And Rain, again, finding some timing right there, taking care of Zershin. Molly's off secret, so he's just going to confirm down in towards this lower site. Yimmy able to find a big kill from the ramp side of things here. Kerrigan crunching, but Yimmy seems aware. Crouching up below the angle, but an adjustment landed. And at the very least, they've got themselves the man advantage here in the post-plant situation coming through. Doesn't blind twist, but it does blind Rain. Now, I'm starting to see... Where is Torzi? He's baiting in for Frozen. Frozen on the back line coming from Secrets. No kits. And with both his players dying towards ramp, there's nothing really he can do with this one. Frozen, he had to be a little bit quicker on the trigger. However, with both Yimmy and Torzi towards ramp, they were holding these angles. And unfortunately, Torzi. they couldn't. He looks to strike and help out. In fact, in the ramp room, but unable to do so. Now diving on into the fray here. Yimmy has to find himself a multi, but quick trade comes through. Kerrigan taking that space. We'll be able to capitalize, limiting him to a singular kill. And again, we're going to rock in a 4v4 pose plant right now. A very difficult recovery effort here. As again, Rain is cutting off rotations here. The secret out of yard lurk coming through. Into their minds. And now Faye is 6 and 0. Oh, could be the case. Torzi waiting for a time to strike here. Rain has coverage of this angle, though, and he immediately dispatches of him. I think that Perfect. flash didn't come through deep enough, and so you can see Rain has full vision on that play. Tossing in a bit of a fake towards that AX as well, but they're just going to quickly, but a little too late to the party here. We got a 4v5, make it a 3v5. Kerrigan wants more. 
You found out where Kerrigan is, but you still have no idea where Rops is. Rops is standing right behind him in the same lurking position. Lucian is gonna get cleared. What? One in or two people at least over towards lobby, and they were waiting for that play. Sort of value you can get out of uh, out of rain when he is playing towards that outer yard here. Kerrigan in a nasty off angle. That's a hard clear, but he loses a dual Zertion. This is gonna fall here. Should we at least trade it back? And again, Yimmy getting proactive here towards the ramp side. Could deliver some ground. He's flanking. You've got Shui closing in on Baroki. Should be able to spot the barrel soon. Should have a big advantage, but Yimmy's dealt with here. No way. Baroki's going to land the shot. He does land a leg shot. No <laughs> kill converted. The fact even you're well off just saving here because you're going to have way more in regards to looking for success. But Rain needs to, he needs to ta topple the Titan and he catches the timing off correctly. Carrigan now fading into Mini. Catches Shui off guard, but Torzi's there to save him. Shui will fall and Torzi close range with the AWP. Not the best Ooh. weapon to be in this situation, but he still excels. Twist left into a one versus four. Bombs down in front of him. And unfortunately, I think his team has been toppled by the Orpa. Rain not getting any success outside. And with Twist, they found out where he is. He will at least avenge his fallen comrades. But it's a silver lining amidst the rain cloud. Now, can he get some damage? That's probably the name of the game. But Yimmy with the second orb. Mouse are starting to find those answers here late into the half. Five rounds. Is that workable? They will be looking for no less on this CT side. It's going to be an A pop. We haven't seen this from FaZe. Zershin tries to shut it down. Only good for that first. Shui burning in the Molotov. Will give himself some coverage with smoke. Pops his head up. Gets a frag. Deals so much damage. Softens them up for the rifler. And Torzi comes in to defy the final blow. Even succeed. When necessary recently. And I think that being to, the, to their benefit. I'm also looking over at Zershin. He was impeccable on map one. On heart, he's been struggling, and Torzi, speaking of struggling, gets a tag onto Carrigan, but Brokey's orb finds his head, and Brokey finally in his element now, charging forward. Laxadaisically doesn't anticipate Frozen, and you were talking about this man. He could be the final element for Maus, and in this round, he has to step up. He's given them one frag, still with the advantage in favor of FaZe, and the glass not broken, the smoke shrouding his vision. He doesn't realize that Rain is on the right other side, but he'll hear him. That's a big sound cue for Frozen to work with. But there are two players here. He identifies the first, but Twist snaps onto his head. Spotted. They know where Yimmy is over towards Secret. They can divert away from these individuals perfectly. And it's made a whole host easier because Twist, he's firing on all cylinders now. Yimmy, a, a one versus four. Surely not. One HP, drops the bomb, Ooh. and fine. He gets taken down there. And now they're going to aggress this. Torzi again, dealt with by Brokey's up. Oh, Yimmy able to get around the corner just in time. And Molly off as well. But Brokey's Brokey. chasing. He can't get away, so he has to push forward. And there's another two openers here from Brokey. Uh, up late in this T half. He wasn't really needed at the beginning, but now when he's called upon, he'll deliver tenfold. That's the third for him in this round, and he's still going hunting, and he might actually be needed because Shui's brought it to a two versus two. Brokey on 19 HP. He can't quite capitalize on Shui's low HP the same way as a rifle. Oh. And with the bomb down in the middle of the open, Brokey. It's going to be very difficult for him. But where's Frozen? Frozen so far astray. So as Rop just pops open that door, Frozen has to come down this vent. And he's so scared because he should be. Rops on the other end. He could catch a timing. And that timing will be caught. Hey. Spots out. Rops misses the opportunity, though. They now know where he is. Flashbang gets hit by the door, pops it open. The one versus two now made very plausible. The bomb re-dropped. He knows where Rops is. He's just going to fall away. Playing the mind games, coming back into this angle, swings in, but Keep it up here, a little bit of flash, a little bit of flare from Mouse to head into the half. We'll see if they can keep it up there. You me leading all the moves here, but it's going to be Zersh in the Helm of the Spear, it seems, on this ramp aggression. Again, we talked about the raid boss up, but Rops is alone towards ramp here with the USP, unable to strike for any kills, and looking to dive on away here. Next up is Kerrigan at bat, but he gets dinked down, and he's going to have to retreat. Yeah, do they hunt him down potentially? Like, if they know they've got that confirmed goose, will they go and fight? If they do continue towards the B bomb site, they're gonna have to deal with the dynamic duo of Brokey and Rops. See if they can lock it in here. The Dooley's looking to strike there, but again, that glass shroud's a vision. Rops able to contain his aim for one, but the trades are so quick for Mouse, it's into a 2v2. And again, there's some damage already established here that was being able to be found here early on. There's a flank to be found as well. Rain is going to drop.
what quite's going to be going on right now. I feel like for FaZe, this pistol round is not a worry. They don't have to be too scared that this goes against them. Carrigan, time's run out already. Told so you'll be able to stay alive successfully here. Rops again going to be tested. Like you said, that lower bomb site might be an ideal target here as Kerrigan is able to turn and burn out Huey right there. Nice open pick, but Torzi covering the right angles right there. It keeps things level, keeps things contained here. The Nova no is way. out. Brokey with one in a second. Brokey finding two with the shotgun right there. It and if he spots him out, he'll just signal to Rain that there is Ooh. someone there. But a big one-two punch from both Frozen and Zershin. Rain identified. In lobby. He's got head armor to back this one up as well. And he well, he's instantly on the shoot, but he's got a lot of help around that corner. Doesn't really need it as Kerrigan. A wall bang coming through right there from the vents. Through squeaky door is going to open up for the CT side, but it, they're still being led. It is a three versus two for, uh, oh, for Miles. Oh. It's not going to be a win, but Brokey with the Nova, <laughs> that's extra dollars coming into his pocket. That's 900 extra that he can work with. Bomb will not be able to be denied. And now he's just wondering if they will push him, if they will fight towards him. Hopefully they don't because it gives such an advantage to the Latvia. But can he pick up the AK? Seemingly, yes. It would be a really huge eco round. Oh, wait. And yeah, Rops, he could catch Jimmy off guard. Does he clear the correct corner? Peers towards the left. And well, this round's actually winnable. Frozen behind the silo. Oh my god! Out. Broke eliminates him. Bomb. Wait, he needs to get the fuse. No time. Oh, so unfortunate for FaZe. I think if Brokey had instantly got onto it, he might have had the time. FaZe, they're not going to win the round, but they're going to do so much damage. No one will survive for Mao's money. Not looking to... I really to thought they had that. It would have been close. And well, realistically, what are you losing right if you do get onto it? But as we head into the first gun round, the Yorps come head to head very early on. Torzi does 98 damage to Rops. I don't know how... To, to Brokey, rather. I don't know how he's alive, but that's a huge opening to kill to get Berserchen, tormenting outside, gets his revenge on Rain, but a good follow-up from Twist, but Brokey still maintaining presence towards Ramp, and Shiri will be looking to walk into his crosshair. Oh, 2 HP, able to walk away the victor in that head-to-head. -head. He's gonna hold his ground as well, taking the re-up on the angle. Smoke will go in, that's gonna, not gonna have too much effect, oh it will, it'll force him off for a little bit here. Yimmy, taking that space. Brokey looking to shotgun up, doing what he does best. He's just going to find himself inside the smoke. He's sacrificing a little bit of his life for a play. He's got 2 HP. Damn me. Going to wait that smoke out. He might have himself a nice little freebie here. Depending on how he plays his cards. Throws in. Spots him out there. It's a bit of a surprise for Brokey. Blinked off there. Bomb is going to be dropped. No, Kerrigan can't quite find it here. One spotted. Yimmy's going to take that fight. They're going to head right back into Rops here. No, double their heels towards Hut. Is Frozen holding for him, or can Rops find a nice timing? Twist is going to be rotating up from Secret. There is a kit on Rops. He's going to let Frozen bypass him. He's going to let Frozen tuck himself to Tetris. No the one will. They've got to go. They should have gone ages ago. Ten seconds left on the bomb. Frozen will fall. Yimmy in a one versus two. He's done enough. He's dropped the kit. And Twist, with only six HP, will not be able to contend. Twist might not even survive. Maus, they make it now a two-round game. pressure in towards Lobby. Deep angle for him. Chewie, lost a bit of utility, he knows someone's around that corner, somehow is avoiding the bullet, but not so lucky for Yemi, he'll walk right on in here, now a crossfire setup, Chewie's got to clear both angles, he's a little bit careful about this, but no, he's going to still fall here, just the same, Rain finds one as well, there's two around this corner, everywhere you go, there's multiple members on phase, and everyone on mouse starts to fall, it's just frozen left into a 1v4 clutch, and this time I think phase are looking for a little bit of redemption isolated manner in favor of Maus. This time, as you say, everywhere to go, Faze has multiple members, and even at the end here, it's a double swing from Rops. And... Maus has vertigo here, but Faze is always going to be a good one for Nuke, and as we can see, they're looking to claim victory here. Twist is somehow oh. able to turn and burn down Zershian. Tough fight for him to win out, but able to close it. Now they're going to try and execute out towards this A side here, but Kerrigan has coverage. Just let him slip out of Hut and Torzi. He's going to quickly dismiss of that here. Twist is lost in the sauce of the smoke. And they're going to be able to lock themselves in at least the site here. Secured just yet. A very poor hold from Carrigan there right now. Yeah, probably the best idea here. You have a lot of room to work with, so you can find those exits. You can do what you've been doing throughout this entire half, which is just damaging that eco. You have to run pretty far away from that bomb. Yeah, I was about to say, they're going to die There's in lobby. Little, this might definitely be heard. And Rain going to be positioning himself 
here early on towards Secret. Looking for a fight. Doesn't overcommit. That HG's gonna do a lot of damage there. Right on the money. Gorzy down low. The Molly separates them as well. You can see Zor Zershin forced forward. He's just spamming behind the Molly. He has no vision of anything. But will land a follow-up kill here. Position. Second op has come through towards that out of the yard. Ooh, Rops though taken care of. Also that dropped down. No, he's not. He's still in heavens, but... Brokey is gonna hear all of these footsteps. Close range, Bates in for starting on the city side. Phase on the T side, it is Ancient. And it's the third and final map. We'll see one team in the semi-finals, one team eliminated, and Yimmy already trying to get some early aggression alongside Frozen, but Donut gets capitulated, and in process, so will the A-bomb site. <laughs> but Garrigan gives him a swing right there. A big find right there. For the IGL taking down Torzi on the pistol, looking for more there. Kerrigan left and right of the boxes, committing to the fight here. Eventually, he's going to find Shu and take out his counterpart, Frozen. Answers back there quickly with the P2K. He's going to find more here. But the last two players, one flanking forward, one in a very strong post plant in the back of Donut. Wait, Sertian able to actually get that defuse on off and avoid the fight. Frozen needs to win it last, but not going to be able to do so here. They know he's off the bomb as well. Energy. You need that energy right now. It's going to be potentially a very long map ahead of them. And this T side, walking out of middle. A miss smoke as well in window could be capitalized by Frozen, as I think he could acquire a one way on top of it. And that's exactly what he will do. But Ooh. Twist and poking over. And as you can see, Twist was able to dispatch. Now Kerrigan on the lurk there does get leveled by Shui, but that B bomb set is a heavy sacrifice. Kerrigan took the space. And now they're going to lock themselves into a post plant here in a 4v4, an even situation. We're not having too much utility left on Mouse either. They might have to think about saving this, to be honest. You have Frozen coming from middle. He's going to be their late yeah. factor. But now with Shui being spammed through the smoke, I think you're going to have to save this. And they're yeah, they're going to be bounding away. Rain's going to be identifying this and will also confirm with his vision. Now we'll be upgraded to the AK. You still have a Galil in the mixture. They're going to be trying to find Ooh. Exertion's head, and they will. Rops. Mario party around the corner. No chance for Exertion there. Feel like that might be all success they garner. Frozen tucking himself into Donut. Yimfat over in Temple. Rops going to fight like quite early on. No smoke towards Donut. So could be dangerous if Yimfat maybe had a rifle. But because he only has his Deagle, it's going to be very hard for him to actually get any um, success. Twist though, not clearing his corners proficiently. He does fall. The trade should be here imminently, but this could be a oh the side. He's doubled up. Finds oh. the third. Where's that happen? He's pulled it out of the hat. Now Carrigan and Brokey in a two versus four. Carrigan will alleviate some of the pressure towards middle. They don't know about Brokey, who's placed himself by <gasps> Temple towards his Deagle. Sings and Yimmy going for the fourth. That's sensational. That some momentum of Phaser if they're able to build back there. After a pause comes through, they're going to take this control. Zershin getting aggressive. Has to meet Rain. This head to head, we're seeing it once again. Look at this flashbang coming through. Torzi has the easiest pickings of his life. Re swings with the sidearm. Doesn't get punished by Brokey on the counterpart. In the meantime, Zershin's still tucked. Rain's not going to expect him to make a move like that. And we've gotten on the bomb site. Does give passageway in towards Temple. Yimmy tries to isolate Rops. However, this time his head will be rocked. There's a good sequence of play to begin the round, but surely FaZe don't win out this two versus five. Brokey. Seeing if he can find anyone deep in CT, not be given that opportunity. But now, where does the bomb even go down? Like they have a nade and then three flashbangs. They're going to plant towards CT because that's where Brokey's just cleared. He will be allowed to get that equity. But now, Maus coming in from two different positions with two Ooh. players on each angle. Great play. Brokey flashed in. Will they anticipate Assertion? I'm not too sure. He's trying to find another frag. But now, Assertion strikes. Rops. One versus three, placed around big box. There is Kit and there is a Molotov to flush him out if necessary, but the Molotov sails towards a main. Rops playing around, spots out the first, nails the head, goes to the second, now just up against the orb. Torzi times on him and the pistol's out. Kit being picked up, but is there time? No. A two versus five acquired. Rops does not shatter under the pressure, but he glimmers with the hope and phase finds all of them. You shouldn't be losing three players without a rebuttal and then you shouldn't be winning a two versus five. Like that's undoubtable. Um, but now Brokey peeking into Torzi's crosshair. Torzi does not miss that beat. And that's a nice opener. But this time, are they able, like, is a 5v4 oh, good God. enough? And Zershin, he might not be able to get out of dodge what? because Rain just spams him through the wall for all his HP. Just keeps on jumping, getting a little bit of vision. Ready to 
Lock in on Rops. Make sure that he's not a factor in the late round. A missed shot that was going to cost Torzi his life. In fact, it's going to sell this rotate off of this B site. They're not in a position to capitalize just yet. Chewie's still locking down some success. He's going to get tagged by that smoke, though. And that's going to be the information that FaZe need to coast on in towards that site. Two on the flank fast. Rain going to be there to meet him and immediately eliminate that pressure. Yimmy coming through late on the flank as well. But Twist now has coverage. And oh, what a tap right there. Deleting... Jimmy from the server. Shui has to deal with that thing. Maybe to just peek it straight up dry. Torzi. The ops going to be spotted early. Kerrigan goes down. So that's going to be the cue. Maybe to turn and burn it towards this A side. Or it might actually just slow them down because they might want to avoid the orc. In the meantime, Rain. We were talking about the lurks. Rain towards B. Rops towards A. Rain has to succeed. But this time, Zershan will get the better of him. Too much space until they get towards that site. Nice little ET to buy some time here. Zershan going to be tasked with a little bit more. Trying to play off of Shui. They're clearing their corners correctly, but Shui and Frozen still playing off each other perfectly. And Shui going for that last fight. Went way too early. Got caught off guard by Torzi with his ult. Now, good opener oh. this time. He makes up for it. There's no one actually on the bomb side itself. Frozen's playing for oh blue, and Carrigan just hunts him down. Upgrades to the A1S and shows him what's good. Two kills on the dollar. There's red on his trigger, and he might not be done, but the nade in the smoke reveals his position, and he gets bested. But for now, is this retake even possible for Maus? Yimfat is saying yes. He's making it so, but he's running out of bullets. Flash goes a little bit too early. Brokey playing around the smoke, and in the meantime... to answer back with those scrappy purchases. So that's going to be a key turning point here in this half. If you don't see Maus strike back, and again, up the ramp they go. Shui takes the fight versus a whole team. Rain wins his duel versus Zershin. Again, that head-to-head -head flares up, and this has to be a save. This has to be an instant yeah. save. And give FaZe a run for their money. But with these rounds falling so carelessly against them, doesn't make me all this Still in the hot seat. However, with some utility being faked towards the B-bomb site, holding three defenders, Yimmy's going to get tested. Not going to get cleared. Him and Frozen in tandem. Good for all three now. That's the shutdown we were looking for towards the A-bomb site. He had one HP walking away. The victor, though, on that trade exchange. He's going to swing he one peeps. more time here, but a crucial answer. Torzi is going to connect on the tripwire. Second opportunity, not the same. Rain going to put it into a 1v2 now. A player already flanking in towards Temple. He's walked over the bomb. He's going to grab that, but he seems aware of the possibility of Shui being close by here. HE landing. He's got his test here up against these two B players. He's running. Oh, he should know this. Arch nemesis on the other side. He might know this, but Shui not in a place. Yeah, absolutely. This is That was uh, last round a classic Kerrigan call here. This time around, Flashman comes through. Maybe to support Brokey just a little while longer. Again, another freebie. But he re-peeks into the angle. Brokey will give him a revenge. It's just a sacrifice of Kerrigan's Deagle. For the answer onto the op here. Now Rain's gonna work up that space. Again, a little lurk smoke for him. He's got so much ground here. And Zershin right around that corner. Who's gonna come out on top in this head to head here? Rain has a chance to pick up that op. Oh boy. Maybe gonna rotate on in. He doesn't think that there's a player behind the pillar. At least Zershin able to trade. No, he's being held for anyway, so it's probably for the best. But Frozen will still peek out. Oh. Finds two. Brokey. Good wall bang does avenge his teammates, and now it's all on his shoulders. Pressure, it's not affected him, and Rops are four, and a one versus two, he Ooh. just gets swung on. Shui just goes, you know what? Looks like it's gonna be some sort of crunch on end towards this A side of the map. I had to guess, but we're just taking care oh. of through the smoke. I see you can see a shift in the CT side. Yimfat trying to get a little bit cheeky on his lurk towards A. However, he gets taken down by a Brokey who hasn't moved a muscle. Can the bomb even be planted? Look how many phase members there are. Zershan finally comes head to head and wins out versus his arch nemesis. The two versus four bomb shall be planted. Frozen, an aggressive position up long. He's going to take this first contact twist. He will not be able to get over that hurdle. Now, a one versus four for the ages and yes. twist. Just um, but yeah, the bomb down is actually impressive. They were able to get it down considering the situation they were in. However, look at this from FaZe. Super aggressive, wow. hyper aggressive. Catches off Yimmy. Smoke tossed in. Kerrigan playing with fire around that corner. And now they're going to re-aggress here from Donut. Two kills come through. Rops and Brokey able to strike in unison. Losing their grasp on this one. At least Torzi going to strike back. A quick headshot comes through as Brokey continues to pressure forward. But it's answered just as quick. Twist in the very next breath is going to trade things out. And Frozen left with his position kind of revealed early Brokey, on. He's going to go very aggressively towards this B-bomb site. Peering down ramp. Frozen needs to be careful. He's playing a deep sight line. But that favors the AWP. 
Yeah, oh, he's shot. just gonna get vision right there, turning the corner right on to Frozen. This mid hold as well, strong as ever as Rops tucks himself in. You see, want more? He's gonna phase the smoke. Waiting for that to fade in his favor here, but who's going to come out on top? Torzy is going to get caught off guard. Rops gets a third, finally taken care of. Maybe looking to recover, going to walk into the AWP here. Brokey can't escape the angle. Down. It's the 11th hour for them, and they're going to be surging out of middle for potentially the last dance. But Twist, lovely opener. That could be the final opener of this series. Rops nice clean here on the early fight, and it's going to be Twist to fall on rotation here. He's too many fights. Too many fronts there. Rain at least containing them with a fast flank. Yumi must have heard it there, as you can see. Still taken care of. Brokey will strike for one as well. Another clothesline coming through from Rain. And Torzi has found himself last man standing. Looking to catch Rain off guard. But he has to fight forward here. Is able to deal with the first here. Brokey making a long reposition. He's got 18 kills. And he's got to take care of Torzi to finish the job. He's got the bomb. He's going to run away. Ooh, I like this. He's going to pause right now. Cutting noise and yeah, making Brokey rethink where he wants to end up here. Action bomb planted towards a Brokey close enough to hear that. Now Torzi, a million thoughts in his head. Does he grasp the right one? He does, but he walks straight into Brokey's orb, and that's it. Phase. They park their car into the semi-finals. They'll be facing up against Cloud9, and it's domination on map three.